Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. K here. I just wanted to let you know that there is some new content on my website. I had put a uh, what's called a Microsoft Sway, which is kind of like PowerPoint. It's a little uh, box that has slides that you can go across and some videos. It's on my website and it's about an artist that I recently became aware of within the past couple years. I have some of his artwork in both of my classrooms in both of the schools where I work and you have seen it. He's an artist who uses everyday items and packaging of things that we buy and eat and food packaging to create collage. And some of his collages are of items of like pictures of sunflowers or buildings or things like that, or they just rearrange the package, or they also, he uses them to create quotes of famous pieces of writing and poetry and different things that we're all aware of. One of the ones that are uh, of his pieces that I think is really neat in the uh, presentation I have on my website is the preamble to the constitution it's in there also to one that i couldn't find that if you looked at his artwork uh, online and his website you'll see he started to do the number pi now you know the number pi goes on forever but he did as much as he could fit on this one poster using numbers cut out of like packaging which i don't think i could even focus on even two lines of that gluing that all down but his work is really neat. I did one inspired by his work. And this is a package from a product that you might know. If you notice, let's see, you could see kind of the broken up name of the product there. It's Bazooka Gum. This was a package from that my daughter got in her Easter basket. Um, and it's the type of gum that has the little comic strips on it. Um, and you open it up. And this was a package that was really brightly colored. And on the box, it said it was the vintage or new, um, like a new throwback uh, packaging. So I just thought this would be perfect for this project because most people know this type of gum. So I did it in his style. Now, Michael Albert was an artist who really became famous by taking a box of Frosted Flakes. Now, I love cereal. So he did that project. He took the Frosted Flakes box because in his um, apartment building, the people would take the trash and leave it by the incinerator chute to go down. Well, he said that the boxes of cereal must have been too large to go in the little plastic bags that they would tie to put their trash in. So they would fold them up and leave them on the side. And, you know, that's relatively clean cardboard. So he thought, you know what, I probably could do something with them. So he took this Frosted Flakes box and he cut it up and collaged it with spaces in between and kind of moved a couple things in different unique places and created this piece of artwork. And it suddenly took off. People thought, wow, that's like a modern day pop artist. And when we say a pop artist, pop artists are artists who use things that we, in everyday life, um, things that are popular that we know. If we remember some famous pop artists like Andy Warhol, he's the artist who did the pictures with Campbell's soup can. So um, pop art can be anything every day that we like. So what I'm challenging you to do is, first of all, go on my website and look up the little slide presentation that I have about Michael Albert. Um, I also have his website down here on michaelalbert.com. Uh, make sure you get your parents' permission before you go on the internet. Then the other thing is, look for packaging that it's like your favorite product, your favorite thing. When your family is done with it, make sure the packaging is clean, if it's like a, a cellophane bag or whatever, or you're given permission, and maybe try this technique and make a unique picture or make something completely else out of the packaging, make, make a picture out of the pieces. I use, this is kind of cardboard, so I used regular white glue, and I chose to use a paintbrush that was kind of old and I just put the glue in a little dish and I painted it on the back because you don't need a lot, but I wanted to make it as neat as I could. And some artists paint like a, a watered down glue solution, almost like Mod Podge over top of it when they're done. So it stays on there. Cause sometimes, you know, if we use a glue stick, which is fine. Sometimes the things pop up. We kind of have to hold it till it gets really firm. So I want to challenge you to look up about Michael Albert and really kind of learn about his work and get inspired to maybe do the same kind of thing. So hopefully you'll do that. And if you come up with some unique designs, 
um, and interesting um, different packaging that maybe I wouldn't have ever have access to, please make sure you send them to me. I think that would be a really great um, addition to putting in our student gallery on my website. All right. God bless and good crafting.